Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. Well, you know what? I held back the show for one day because I wanted to see what happened in the game um, between Manchester City and Chelsea. And uh, following that game, we're still top of the league. So, you know, it kind of all worked out nicely after the weekend. Let's go back, first of all, to the Arsenal game. I mean, it was a very tough game, just like I knew it would be. I knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. Remember, Crystal Palace went recently to Manchester City and were only beaten 1-0. And, and to be fair to them in that game, they really played well. They should really have got something out of that game. And they've been playing really well under Tony Pulis. And they came to Arsenal, they parked the bus up, basically. You know, and when teams park the bus up and get everybody behind the ball, just like what Palace done, just like what West Ham did the other day to Chelsea, as you saw with that game, it is very, very difficult to break down. But who turned up? This man, the Ox. Oxley Tambien turns up two fantastic goals. Great finishes for both the goals. A timely reminder to Arsene Wenger that um, Oxley Chamberlain is back. And a timely reminder to Roy Hodgson um, that when he's picking the England squad um, this summer, don't forget the Ox. I mean, he played really, really well. Played in the centre of the park, um, which looks to be his best position. I mean, I always thought that he was going to be um, a player playing out on the right wing, but in the middle of the park, Really, really good player. Gets the ball, can pass it. Good tackler as well. And also um, takes players on. And that's what you need. When you've got a team that have got every single player behind the ball and uh, making it really difficult for you, apart from all the passing, every now and again, you need a player that can go past two, three players. That takes other players out of position and frees other people up. And that's what he did brilliantly. And um, in the end, it was a great three points, especially when you consider what happened last night with the Chelsea and Man City game. We're back to the top of the league. Two points, it's not much, but two points um, ahead of them. And what it does is it gives us a little insurance policy. If we go to Liverpool, say, at the weekend and say we didn't win and we got a draw, we're still not good. You know, we still possibly be still top of the league because, you know, we'll... Those other two teams are two points behind us. So it gives us a little insurance policy, keeps us top of the league and keeps us going. And you know what? In a way, that result yesterday for Chelsea is probably better um, for us than even a draw because City have had a kind of air of invincibility recently. We heard Tim Sherwood the other day talking about they're the best team in the world, which I thought was ridiculous. They're a very good team, City. But listen, it's going to be all about consistency this season. The team that wins the most games from now till the end of the season is going to win the league, basically. And Arsenal have been doing the business all season. You cannot fault them. Yes, we may have lost to Manchester United. Yes, we may have lost to Manchester City. But we've been winning most of our games. And that is what it's all about. It's about the team that wins the most games consistently throughout the season is going to win the league. It's as simple as that. Let's get into your comments and see what you had to say about the game. And also, I asked people this week to tell me what they thought about the uh, transfer window because, let's face it, it's been absolute shambles. No matter what way you want to put it, this Kim Kelstrom thing has been an absolute disaster that we signed a player that is injured. I, inj I mean, you couldn't write it. And I think Arsene Wenger got a bit fortunate that we won that game and he didn't really have to go deep um, in answering questions on the Kim Kelstrom thing. Because how can we sign an injured player? But anyway, let's get into the comments. Um, Riley said, uh, it was a good result. We learn, we're learning to grind out results. And um, he said it was a disappointing transfer window. But we will definitely win the league. And Oxlade chamberlain was immense. Hulk Hogan said, we struggled to, against Palace. Ox, of course, was a standout man. The transfers of Kelstrom were panicky and a stupid buy. And I agree with that. It does... I mean, I still can't get my head around it. The guy's injured. You know he's injured when he's come. Why buy him? We've had a month of transfer windows linked to just about everybody. I know it's hard to get players in January. But if you're going to get an injured player, then don't get a player at all. I mean, I thought he was coming in to cover for Flamini, who's out for three games, and to cover for um, 
For um, for, for um, oh, you know what? I'm forgetting the players now. For coming for Ramsey, <laughs> it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. I'm forgetting our players now. To cover for Aaron Ramsey, by the time he gets better, Ramsey, you know, he'll be back. I, I mean, I just don't get it. Um, Subariva says a uh, great result, and Ox and Arteta were fabulous. I thought Arteta played well as well. He said, uh, pity about Draxler, but um, he's fully behind the team, and we can definitely win the league. And he misses Aaron Ramsey. We definitely miss Ramsey at the moment. Marcus said, impressive performance by Oxlade Chamberlain. Um, when he's been, especially when he's been out for five months, and that's true. He's, he, he started the season. I don't know if you remember the first game of the season. I thought he started on firing that game until he got injured. And hopefully he's going to get back to that. Uh, January was a bad month for injuries, injuries and transfers. He says, hashtag Walcott. Um, Markin says, uh, Good expected win. Our transfer um, window in the winter was a comedy, um, but we can win the league. We need more of Giroud's goals. Uh, Marcus also says, uh, Robbie, mention this in the aftermath. Why do we always get injuries? And will we get Draxler in the summer? Getting Draxler in the summer is going to be very difficult because um, we understand now that Bayern Munich are very, very keen on Draxler and that changes the game completely. City will probably be in, Chelsea, it's going to be harder. That means if we're going to get Draxler, we're going to have to go with some serious money and hope that our German contingent can persuade him to come. So it's going to be definitely a lot harder to get Draxler. And uh, why do we always get injuries? I just can't work it out. I mean, we get so many. I mean, if you look at our injuries this season to key players as well. I mean, Ramsey and Theo Walcott were both doing the business for us um, at Arsenal and both got injured and they've been out. But fair play to the lads. The players that have come in have done brilliantly. I mean, Corzola's taken up the goal, the goal scoring from Ramsey, you know. Oxlade Chamberlain now has come in and taken up goal scoring. So fair play to the players that are replacing them. That's what is a good squad. I mean, I heard Manchester City complaining yesterday about injuries. They had an injury to Fernandinho um, and they had the injury to Aguero and they're moaning. Listen, we've had that all season and we've still been winning games. So... Listen, fair play to our squad. Our squad has really been performing. Um, Dewey says, Rzyski, Ozil and Santi should play, should play from now on. Um, so the game is faster. And he said he doesn't like when we start slow. He said, um, but if we start with those, that problem will be sorted out. Luke still says, Arsenal played well. Also, Oxley chamberlain was fantastic as a um, central midfielder. Um, to get all together is a good performance from the lads and he said we are top of the league and Liam says we can still win the league however my mate told me today that we could have brought back Coquelin instead of buying Kim Kallstrom that is a great great point we've got Francis Coquelin on loan um, over there in Germany why didn't we bring him back if we're short that's a great point I, I hadn't even thought about at the time and we brought in Kim Kallstrom. He may be a good player, Kallstrom. But, you know, I was chatting to some fans the other night who were from Russia, who was over for the Arsenal game. And they said that even at Spartak Moscow, he just sat on the bench. He never played. So he was never going to be up to match fitness straight away anyway. So he's only a loan deal. I just don't get the deal at all. And I just think that we missed the trick by not bringing a striker in. I know it's difficult but I think Arsenal should have brought a striker in in the January transfer window. But hey, this is the team we got. This is the team we're going to have to go with. And you know what? I don't want to complain too much because we're still top of the league. And we go to Liverpool on Saturday. If we put in a good performance, we've been playing well. We beat Liverpool at our place. We've got a good record um, against Liverpool over the past couple of seasons. Let's go there and impose ourselves on Liverpool. They're great going forward, Liverpool. But their defence, as we saw in the game against West Brom, can be very shaky. And we need to go there and exploit that. We need to sort of do what Chelsea did last night. Go there and take our game to them. And I think if we do that, we can win that game. Then Manchester United next week, they're not playing well. We can beat them as well. If we can come through those two games with six or four points, we're bang on track for the title, I'm telling you. So this is a really important next couple of games. And if Arsenal can do well in them, I'll tell you, we're going to be really sitting pretty. Um, just got to tell you about a couple of things. Don't forget, um, you can visit our shop, our online shop, where we're selling T-shirts. We've got a special offer at the moment where 
For everybody who purchases a t-shirt, and this is one of them, you got this one here, Oxalade Chamberlain, charging on to victory. This is my favorite at the moment. You got, oh, I love this one. This is one of my favorites at the moment. Stand up if you hate Tottenham. Stand up if you hate Tottenham. There's this one. Big, but, but German. We got a big, I'm keeping it clean. And of course we got things like this, like the, uh, the Varsity jacket. All of those are available in our online shop now. If you buy something from the online shop during the month of February, you're going to be entered into a draw and one person will be drawn out of that and you get a chance to go to a game. Yeah, you win yourself a ticket to go and watch an Arsenal game at the Emirates Stadium. So any purchase you make, you're going to be entered into that. So make sure you, if you, you want to get something, go and get it straight away. Also, I've got to tell you about a brand new feature that we've got called Guna Cam. Now, a lot of fans have been asking me about this and we're making it happen now. If you want to submit a video to us that you want us to post on our YouTube page and on our website and get it viewed by millions of people each and every week, send your video in to us, right? Uh, we, we're going to post up a link during the week on our website, which will um, explain to you in three steps how you send us your video. First of all, you've got to film the video. It will explain how you do that. You can film it on a camera. If you've got a professional camera, you can just film it on your iPhone or on your Samsung or any smartphone that you've got. Uh, then you send it to us by WeTransfer. We'll select the best ones and they will go up onto our website. You'll be credited um, and we're going to be doing that feature. That's available for fans all around the world. You can film you know, yourself talking about the game. You can film yourself at the game. Um, film fans going crazy, you know, whether it be at the Emirates, whether it be at your local pub, whether it be, you know, whatever country you're in, Australia, Africa, Asia, anywhere you are, we're making this available now to all fans. It's called Gunacam, so make sure you look out for that. That's going to be all the details of that on our website. So thanks for watching the Aftermath today. Listen, they keep writing us off, but where are we? Where are we? That's where we are. Top of the league. I let him go for nothing. And also now we run the risk, if he has a fantastic World Cup or a good second half of the season, uh, Man City, PSG, Spanish Giants, you, you don't think they're going to sit back, and Bayern Munich, by the way, mm. they're not going to sit back and say, oh, go on, Arsenal, you have him, because uh, it don't work out like that. And it sort of brings memories back of a lot of transfers. This goes back years when we've... We haven't gone done really well. We was, uh, you know, Listen, we can't afford no more injuries. I yeah, mean, no we've just injuries. bought an injured player. <laughs> I mean, especially after that fast on Friday. I mean, I mean, I mean, I woke up Friday morning, you know, it was like, oh, we're going to get a new Mercedes. We ended up with a right, reliant Robin with a... <laughs>